He's been practicing that all yeah. <laughs> Did you write that? I was going to say, did you write that speech? Yeah, you've been Yeah, been there. Yeah. 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 Lee can't stand up again. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm a box to stand on. <laughs> 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 nice friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely sure how I'm going to top that, to be quite honest. Uh, but we'll have a go. This is a, a little story uh, about how I met Anna, which Bob touched on. <laughs> kind of. <Right>. Story. <laughs> 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 there is a band called Lock Party. I consider them playing live in Lincoln the best gig I've ever been to, to date. I went with my best friend Bob. Say hello, Bob. Hello. <laughs> and his better half, Gemma. Say hello, Gemma. Hello. see the band, but we were there, we were looking around, for, for myself, not wenches, no. <laughs> Conversation between uh, me and Bob before the band got going went a little bit like this, is Bob's like, ooh, what about her? <laughs> <laughs> she's okay. What about that one then? She's looking at you. Yeah, she's nice, she's nice. Over there, that one? Mm, yeah, yeah, she's nice, Bob. We see that balcony up there, I think I'd rather throw myself off. <laughs> <laughs> we bump into a friend of Bob, Hayley. Say hello, Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie was with a group of her friends, and I saw Anna straight away. But this perfect moment, this vision of beauty, oh. was interrupted by Bob leaning in towards me and shouting in my ear, small blonde to your right, next to the guy with the big beard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> And I was always close by, always within sight. I thought to myself, she's noticed me. She keeps looking at me. The gig was cut short by a fire alarm going off. And I like to say that Anna looked back at me, smiling, as she moved into the distance. But instead, I was nearly knocked over by two huge firemen telling me to get out of the way. <laughs> by the time they had gone past, Anna was gone. So I told Bob to leave the fireman alone and we left. <laughs> <laughs> the short version of the next bit is Bob uh, spoke to Hayley, who in turn spoke to Anna. We met up and everyone knows the story from then on. Before Bob had spoken to Hayley, I was on cloud nine, beyond excited. I couldn't wait uh, to meet Anna because I properly felt the connection. Which leads me on to asking Anna a little question. Do you remember me in any way, shape, or form from the block party concert? No. I'm pretty sure that I was even stood next to you as well. <laughs> If I hadn't have gone to that concert that night, then we would not be on this path we are on right now. And that upsets me a little bit because uh, I don't need the paper for this. To be honest. Oh, here we go. Oh. I don't need the speech, and I don't need the ring, I don't need all this. Isn't that very nice? Oh. <laughs> I don't need all this as I need this. It's very nice. I've had a very, really good time. All I need is you and Oliver. You're the light of my life. And I love you very much. And Oliver.
It's a bit short for Bob. Especially Ha, 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 ha.